This family thought they'd adopted a rare pet dog, but it turned out not to be a pet at all. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Adding a puppy should be one of the happiest moments for a growing family. When one family adopted its newest member, a specific puppy breed, they could hardly contain their excitement to start raising him. But their excitement would quickly turn into fear as they started to notice something strange was going on with the newest member of their family. Su Yun was like a lot of mothers around the world. She was hardworking and her life was non-stop action. She felt like she had her hands full with a family time between raising her two children and spending time with her husband. Su Yun and her family were living in China, specifically in a southwest province in Kunming City. Their lives were relatively normal, but that was all about to change. She was about to add another member to their family, a pet. And what she thought would be a happy addition would soon take a drastic turn, making headlines, putting their family in the spotlight, and changing their lives. Like many other families with young children, life can get a little hectic. Su Yun was feeling the pressure and she needed to plan a little getaway. She booked her family a long-awaited vacation in Asia and was counting down the days until the trip came. With a big vacation coming up, Su Yun packed her bags, got her children ready, and figured out all the logistics for her trip. As she'd soon learn, no matter how much preparation goes into a trip, there are always unexpected situations that arise. But no one could have predicted the outcome of a seemingly innocent encounter with a litter of adorable animals. After months of anticipation, Su Yun and her family were finally on vacation and excited about what was to come. During a walk one day with her kids, Su Yun stumbled upon a group of puppies that had been put up for adoption. For a long time, Su Yun's children had been begging their parents to let a dog join the family. Despite her previous refusals, Su Yun was fallen in love with one of the puppies. After years of considering it, Su Yun decided it was finally time to give in and get a pet. Soon she'd realized that she had taken on much more than she could chew. The man who sold Su Yun and her family their newest family member told them about the adorable puppy they were adopting. The seller warned the dog was a Tibetan Mastiff, a large breed that can grow to reach 180 pounds and stand over 2 feet tall. That's a big furball. Su Yun and the family decided to name their adopted puppy Little Black. They named him partially due to his black fur and partially in irony due to how big he could become. The name might sound a little funny in English, but in Chinese it seemed like a cute name for their pet. Little did they know that Little Black would become a pretty big deal and could possibly end up landing the family in legal trouble. The family continued to fall in love with Little Black throughout the rest of the vacation, on the trip back and as they returned to their home. When they got home, the family had some choices to make about how to raise their adopted puppy. The climate in Kunming City allowed for some pets to live outside, so some families kept their dogs in the backyard. Regardless, Su Yun and her family decided to keep Little Black indoors so he could live right next to the rest of the family. As he adjusted to his new life, the entire family was pleased to see that Little Black had a healthy appetite and settled in pretty quick. As time passed, though, they started to notice some strange things about their newest addition. Like the dog seller warned, Little Black didn't stay too little for long. In fact, there was hardly a moment when Little Black would stop eating. Su Yun was new to having a dog, so her pet's diet was a little strange. Every day, Little Black ate an entire box of mixed fruits and two entire buckets of noodles. For some dogs, eating fruits and noodles would leave them pretty sick, but Little Black was seemingly unfazed by his fare. Regardless, things were beginning to get out of hand with the amount of food he was consuming. By the time Little Black was one year old, Su Yun had already spent a fortune on his huge appetite, but this would soon be the least of her problems. As Little Black continued to grow, so did his never-ending appetite. The family that had originally been encouraged by how much their pet was eating was now growing concerned. Su Yun and her family had heard of huge dogs and had expected their dog to be large, but they were not expecting anything quite like this. By the time he turned two years old, Little Black already weighed a whopping 250 pounds and was three feet tall, much larger than the seller had predicted. His size grew to be jaw-dropping, but pretty soon his size wouldn't be this family's only worry as they started to realize even more peculiar things about their adopted pet. Sure, many dogs, especially Tibetan Mastiffs, can grow to be a little bigger than expected, but size was nothing compared to some of the other shocking things that Su Yun started to see around her home. One day, she saw something particularly disturbing in her kitchen that sent some alarms off in her mind. 
When entering the kitchen one afternoon, she saw Little Black standing on his hind legs. To be fair, many dogs sometimes stand on their hind legs, but only for brief periods and not like this. For Little Black, he was standing like a human, definitely not normal. At that moment, Soo Yun knew deep down that something seriously strange was going on about her new dog. The standing incident in the kitchen had proved not to be a one-time thing. Repeatedly, Soo Yun would enter a room to see Little Black standing upright. Soo Yun had started to get a little scared and started looking into her dog and noticed a few other peculiarities. Little Black had gigantic teeth to match his gigantic size. Soo Yun shrugged it off, convincing herself that all large Tibetan Mastiffs must have large teeth. Then she started to see certain facial features like his snout becoming more pronounced. Soo Yun was in denial and was shrugging off some of the signs that she knew deep down pointed to trouble. While she was unsettled by her ever-growing dog, Soo Yun's children were loving all the attention that came with having the biggest pet in the area. People in the neighborhood started to hear about the peculiar adopted puppy. Taking the dog for walks became a spectacle as Little Black kept getting larger and larger. As he continued to grow, there was barely any room for Little Black in the home. Soon enough, Soo Yun and her family started to keep him in a makeshift doghouse outside their home. But it wasn't like putting the pet in the backyard meant that any of the underlying problems went away. Beside Little Black's teeth and overall oversized being, there was another thing that was growing a little larger, his temper. He was beginning to lash out at Soo Yun and her family, and while luckily no one got hurt, they did get a little spooked. That was when Soo Yun realized that the last two years of having Little Black in the family, she never heard him bark. That's not to say he didn't make noise. Little Black would often growl, but not in the way a dog usually would. It sounded more like a roar. Soo Yun was increasingly getting more scared of the adopted animal she'd brought home. At just a little over age two, Soo Yun was officially scared of her own dog. Little Black had become so large that if he wasn't already living outside, he wouldn't have fit in the family home anyway. Soo Yun could barely keep Little Black on a leash to take him for walks. Soo Yun was getting worried for the well-being of her children and herself. So she started to do a little bit of investigating and started scouring the internet for more information. When she first started looking into it, she knew for sure that she didn't have a normal dog. But when she found out exactly what her dog was, she was shocked and scared for her life. After some research into different behaviors and characteristics Soo Yun had witnessed, like Little Black's teeth, propensity to stand on his hind legs and size, Soo Yun wasn't taken aback. Turned out that what she thought was the pet Tibetan Mastiff she'd been caring for was something else entirely. Soo Yun's pet dog was in fact actually a huge black bear. She could barely believe what she was reading, but every single indicator she read confirmed her fears. Soo Yun was scared, horrified, and worried. She had no idea what to do next, but she knew that she had to do something and fast. Soo Yun kept collecting information. Little Black wasn't just a normal black bear, he was an Asiatic black bear, also known as a Tibetan bear or Himalayan bear. This specific type of bear is known to be medium size, but even still they can reach 440 pounds and stand over 6 feet tall. While Asiatic black bears like Little Black are usually herbivorous, they can be aggressive towards humans when they're aggravated. Soo Yun started to look into what to do and saw that owning a bear in China was a crime punishable by jail. The mother of two quickly realized she was in a dire situation. As much as Soo Yun had grown to love Little Black, she knew he had to be removed from her home. But how does one go about getting their gigantic pet black bear to his safe new home? She had no idea where to start. Soo Yun's first idea was call the local zoo to see if there was space. The zoo wanted to help but said without a birth certificate they couldn't even consider taking the bear in and giving him a home. Reluctantly, Su Yun knew what she had to do and she knew that it could land her in even more trouble. Su Yun had no other choice but to call the police and tell them about what a strange predicament she'd gotten herself into. Within just a few minutes, the police and wildlife experts at the Forest Public Security Bureau were at the scene. Su Yun spoke to the police and fully cooperated with all their questions. In an interview, Su Yun told reporters that the more Little Black grew, the more like a bear he looked. She also told reporters that she was a little scared of bears. No kidding. She explained to police what had happened, but it wasn't until the police went into Su Yun's backyard that they were truly shocked by what they saw. Police and the forestry officials walked into Su Yun's backyard and immediately saw a startling sight, a gigantic animal sitting in a caged area. Upon first sight, they knew the animal was definitely not a dog. Once they inspected Little Black, they confirmed what Su Yun already knew. Her pet was a bear. Police began to question Su Yun about the adoption, raising Little Black and where exactly her pet came from. Su Yun filled the police in on the dangerous mix-up and told them all about how she'd accidentally adopted a black bear. But would that be enough to keep her from almost inevitable consequences? 
While the police were gathering information about Little Black, wildlife experts were looking over the pet bear. The officials checked for any signs of injury or malnourishment, and Su Yun stood nearby, fearful for the consequences of hosting a bear in her backyard. After a preliminary checkup, officials determined Little Black was well fed, healthy, and happy. Next, they had to figure out how to get the gigantic bear to the wildlife rescue center nearby. Little Black was tranquilized so he could have a safe transport and was taken to a safety at local animal shelter. But the question still lingered about whether Su Yun would be penalized for housing the bear. Experts again confirmed Su Yun's fears as soon as Little Black arrived at the wildlife center. Indeed, Su Yun had unknowingly kept a potentially dangerous Asiatic black bear in her own backyard. The discovery sparked a ton of media attention, with everyone wondering how Su Yun could have possibly not realized she had a black bear living in her home. Even National Geographic wrote about the shocking story and caused a viral sensation. But more surprisingly, a handful of people shared stories of their own about adopting pets, and later realized there were different species entirely. With more media attention, Su Yun was more fearful that police would choose to press charges. Su Yun continued to cooperate with police about the unfortunate mishap, and it seemed to pay off. Despite Asiatic black bears being a protected species in China due to poaching, Su Yun was able to avoid jail time, and the police had said that any penalty would be reduced with her cooperation. The entire ordeal was shocking for the entire family, but they don't blame their former pet. There are still many days that Su Yun and her entire family miss Little Black. There's still some hope for a future reunion one day as Little Black was put in a nearby reserve. But luckily for everyone, his backyard days are over.